Did a kamikaze drone destroy this radio tower in Russia? Let's watch the video. Okay, here's the hit, and this is gonna take a couple of seconds to fall. Now, a number of people wrote me and asked me if this video was real. I didn't wanna do a video on this video because of operational security reasons, which by the end of this video, you'll realize why I didn't wanna do a video until a couple of days after the event but let's get started. So some people said this is a radio tower. Other people said this was a surveillance tower. I believe this was a surveillance tower in Russia due to the proximity to the Ukrainian border. I believe that this is the site right here. You can see that from the vegetation and the dip in the road. The site is roughly 70 kilometers northwest of Kharkiv, and the site's about 335 meters away from the Ukrainian border. So the drone is probably in Ukraine, and the camera is facing north into Russia watching the site. There's a lack of shadows in the videos. This attack was conducted during midday, and I am estimating the tower is about 34 meters high based on the security fence. You can kind of figure out the height of the tower. Now, here's what's interesting. Everybody is saying that a kamikaze drone hit this tower and destroyed it, and I don't believe that's correct. Now, the United States did donate 700 Switchblade drones to Ukraine. They donated the Switchblade 300, which only has a warhead with an explosive charge equivalent to a 40 millimeter grenade. And that's not a lot of power. It's certainly not enough power to collapse an entire antenna. Uh, there is the Switchblade 600, that has a slightly larger warhead. It's basically an anti-tank guided missile warhead, but anti-tank guided missile warheads are very good for destroying tanks, but they're not so good at collapsing towers just because the warhead isn't designed to do that. Now, here's something else that's weird. The diameter of this explosion is very large. If you compare it to the fence, it's about maybe 10 meters in diameter. This is a very large explosion. So what does the explosion from a Switchblade 300 drone look like? Luckily, we actually do have something to compare it to. A couple of weeks ago, some FSB agents were targeted in a Switchblade 300 attack. Now, if you take a look at the explosion and you compare it to the cars, you can see that explosion is pretty darn small. Now let's compare that explosion to the explosion on the tower. That tower explosion is huge. So what caused this? Well, I can't tell you what caused it, but I can tell you what definitely didn't cause it, and that was a Kamikaze Switchblade 300 drone. That did definitely did not cause this. But if you take a look at the distance between Ukraine and this site, I think it's pretty easy to assume that this was a commando raid. This was a Ukrainian commando or special forces team, or even a team of engineers or sappers that came in and placed a cutting charge like C4 or debt cord on this tower and then detonated it uh, during midday so that they would have good bomb damage assessment. So that's why it took me a couple of days to make this video. I didn't want to release this video while special forces still might be operating in that area. I wanted to wait a couple of days for operational security reasons. I don't know why newspapers and media outlets ran with the story that this was a kamikaze drone when it is so obvious that it's not. I think a big problem with our media is that so few people have served in the military that they just can't even comprehend what they're looking at. So they just kind of assume it's the first thing, but this was not a kamikaze drone attack. Thank you for watching.